Hi, today we're going to walk through different ways you can share your gamma. You can access the share settings from two different places. If you're on the dashboard, you can find the share settings in this menu. Or if you're already inside of a deck, you can open this share settings by clicking the share button up here. If you're the creator of the deck, then your share settings will look something like this. By default, we set uh, links to have view permission and for workspace members to have no access. We can change those settings here. So if I wanted to add a workspace member, I can type in their name, or if I wanted to add someone who's not my workspace, I can also send them an email. Note that members who are not um, members of my workspace cannot have full access. So I will set this to be comment level, and then I can send the invitation. Invitations and other collaborators will be shown in this section. Um, if I wanted to change the workspace permission, I can change that in this menu. Full access means that they can fully share and uh, even delete and edit the deck. So I will choose full access for workspace members. Once I give workspace members access, then I can also add the gamma to a folder if I have any. So I can start typing in the name of a folder. I can add this to my ideas folder. I can also remove it from the folder. The link here shows that it's as view permission. So if I wanted to quickly give someone a link, I can copy this link here. This will automatically copy to my clipboard. I can also change the permission settings all the way up to edit permission. The next section is for sharing your gamma publicly. If you give anyone a public link, this will be a read-only version. And that means that they can they cannot edit and they also won't be able to follow if you're presenting. You can turn on public access by clicking this switch button and copying this link. This is a good way to share with a lot of people. You can also export your gamma to different formats as PDF and PowerPoint. If you want to change the way your gamma looks in those downloads, you can change the settings in the page setup. So I'll add show card backdrops, and then you can download. For fonts to display correctly, you'll need to make sure that these fonts are installed. So we can immediately link them here so you can download them, and that will make sure it shows up correctly in your PowerPoint. Finally, the last section is for an embed code. Uh, we can You can use um, a gamma inside of an embed. You just have to enable public access and copy and paste this into somewhere that accepts an iframe. We do um, provide some default style settings that you can also change to suit your needs. Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.